What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and today we're unboxing the next Marvel Gear and Good box that we still have the subscription on it, so we're going to probably keep it, I guess, until we don't like it. Um, but this box is done by Loot Crate and everything, and of course we got the one, I assume, two months ago that had all these cool Spider-Man stuff, which I was actually really impressed with that box, so I hope we'll continue on with this one. So first off on the top here, we have the Hydra logo, so it may have something Hydra or villains related to it. We'll go ahead and start with the shirt first. So we start off here, and it looks, oh, it's a long sleeve t-shirt. That's pretty cool. But it's a Loki shirt, so you can see the, of course, comic version of Loki there. Um, yeah, and it says, I assume Loki there, and probably as Guardian language down there at the bottom. So that's really cool, and it's nice, like I said, a nice uh, long sleeve t-shirt. It looks like a black t-shirt, which are always the best and everything. So that is actually really cool. Next up, we've got a little black box here. It says for Distinguished Service, and it, of course, has the Hydra logo. So probably another mug or something, since we always seem to get mugs. And yes, it is. So we have a mug here, and so it says Hydra Employee of the Month with Baron Zemo there on the front. And it says Kidnap Sidekick Check, Defeat Nemesis Check, Take Over the World Unchecked, and Pick Up Red Skull's Dry Cleaning Unchecked. So it's got that on the back there. I don't know... Um, It'd be kind of fun if maybe it's one of those uh, like heat sensitive ones so when you put stuff it would like check them off or something. Or change the color, maybe glow in the dark, I don't really know. It doesn't uh, really say anything in here. Uh, but that's a, I like the picture and everything and the idea but again it's another coffee cup that we have millions of we get from boxes so kind of disappointing but I really like the artwork. Then next we've got a big box here and it says Thanos and it has a Thanos and on the uh, back here it does say Thanos bookend but it's really light so it obviously wouldn't be too probably too good of bookends but probably just like nice decoration um, and uh, so it looks like it is just a single one so it's just the one that you know holds like set the books on and stuff to help hold it and so there it is there um, so obviously oh uh, I guess it's turned around. So I guess if you have this way is the way it's supposed to go. On the Infinity Gauntlet there, you can see the white marks where the stones are supposed to be. I thought they were, you know, it was this direction and it would, those were like just the back of it. But I guess it's supposed to go like this. They're just like little white stickers, which is, you know, this is kind of like a pretty just cheap piece of metal that they cut a frame of uh, Thanos out and stuck it onto here. Um, but it's still nice for a book holder I mean I don't really have any use for it but I like the idea if well, this was like Captain America or something I'd be going crazy for it but yeah just the plain Thanos I thought at least when I pulled it out that the other side would have been colored in and everything but no it's just a black silhouetted frame and then like I said the whited uh infinity stones there on the gauntlet and stuff so like i said really cool like overall item just to have like a you know a book holder thing but don't really have any use for it then next up we've got a poster that was in this tube that's really hard to get out but i finally got it and so here it is and it looks just like another villain's poster here so we got a spider-man one last month that was really cool so it's cool to get this so i can see we have ultron up here of course a giant thanos then we have loki baron zemo we have uh, ronin and uh I forget. Kang. Kang, yeah. Which I should know because I just played the Lego game. But no Red Skull in here, which is kind of surprising. I assume he would have been on here because of the box and stuff. And then, of course, we have the Hydra logo there at the bottom. So, again, that's an another really cool artwork. I really like these artworks. We haven't um, really looked to see for frames to see how easy it is to get frames. But the size doesn't look too odd. Um, so, we may be able to find this. But these look really nice and cool. Just these alone, getting these in the box is really awesome. Especially for us to hang up in the house here and stuff. So, that is really nice art. Next up, we, I found this little box. I almost missed it in the thing, but it's just a little tiny box that says hail. So I assume it's a Hydra pin. And yes, it is. So it is like a pin or some, obviously, some you can put on your shirt and stuff with the Hydra logo. Um, I think that's pretty similar to what they have in the movie. I don't really remember uh, much, but I, you know, something like that, that they usually keep hidden and stuff to um, be secret in Hydra or whatever. To I really signify that they're a part of yes, Hydra. Yes, when they did the whole takeover in uh, the Captain America movie or whatever. So, yeah, we've got the Hydra pin there, and it says, Cut off a limb and two more shall uh, take its place there so that is a cool little pin then we've got our actual pin for the month which is red skull so yeah surely that's not the theme but it says moi and then we've got red skull there 
looking all cool. And again, another one of these cool giant pins um, that I really like the artwork and everything on them. So that is really cool. So that is it for everything in the box. We have our uh, card here, our little postcard thing. Last time we got the cool picture again of the Scarlet Spider. And this time we have a picture of villains there. So three villains. And then you can kind of see over here Thanos' shadow. Like he's looking over the pictures and stuff there. But so our theme for the month was the layer, I guess. Um, I guess it fits. I thought it'd just be villains or something. But of course, we've got our Hydra Employee of the Month mug there with Baron Zemo on the front. Then we got our low key long sleeve t shirt, which again, I really like the artwork. And then that's a long sleeve tee, you know, just adds the value there. The Thanos book in, which again, I wish like there was something more to. I don't just like the silhouetted Thanos. I wish he was like colored in or just a different character in general would have been cool. Then we got the art print that, again, I really love the art prints that come in these boxes. They're really cool. Then we got the Hydra lapel pin, of course, the Hydra logo there. And then the Red Skull pin for the month of the box there. So that is all the items for the month. Again, all uh, villains themes, which I like that a lot. And, uh, you know, stuck to it and everything. Didn't have, like, one or two items and then just random stuff. We got villains with everything. So that is it for the box. I'd say, that overall, that was pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, uh, so, again, another pretty decent box. Like I said, the mug... Uh, um, again, we're tired of mugs. We get so many mugs. And then the booking, like I said, I wish it was a little bit different. But other than that, it was overall pretty good. I really enjoyed this box again. So I guess we'll probably be continuing on still with the next box. So I hope you come back and watch that. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up for me. Leave any comments you have down below. Let me know what your favorite villain from the Marvel Universe is. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings on our channel. And we'll see you next time.